guys, what's going on? It's Ash here coming at you today in Clash Royale, and I'm joined by B Rad again. Brad, what's going on, man? And look at you, you're already in a match right now on top 200 ladder. <laughs> can't rest, man. And you always, can't rest. He's like, I'm going in. I don't even care if you hit record yet. I love it, dude. Uh, how have you been, man? We're going to be covering a deck where you guys can see already below me. And we'll talk about this deck more in between this first match. We're already into a live ladder match against Norby Swag YouTube, who plays in a lot of my 10K tournaments. Really, really, really good player. Uh, Brad, uh, first off, how you been, man? I know you've been rocking on YouTube, so I'll include in the show notes, guys, if you want a really, really amazing content creator who has a lot of, like, cool series and just kind of a different feel, you never get sick of watching content on B-Rad's YouTube channel. How do you like it, man? It seems like you're going, like, all in. Yeah, it's such a fun time. Daily videos and daily streamings. I just have, honestly, I just do whatever I want. Just have That's fun. It. That's yeah. it, man. I love it. I love it. And you can tell that... There's something about, you know, I always try to do the same thing, obviously. It's just, like, try to be, you know, yourself. Try to be unique. Try to do what you would enjoy watching. And you can tell that you do the same thing. So, keep up mm -hmm. the good work, man. So, this deck. Tell us about why you love it. I saw you playing this deck on, on stream maybe, I don't know, late last week. And I was like, wow, I got to show my viewers this deck because it has Exynado. It has mm -hmm. Valkyrie, which is a card we don't see a ton of. Why do you love it so much? I just love it because of the cycle. It has yeah. Skeleton's Ice Spear. You can always get like double balloons. Not double balloons, but like back to back balloons, which I love. Yeah, get their counter out of hand. And then, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Okay, so you got Valkyrie taking care of the Goblin Gang. You got uh, Execution in the right lane. Norby, full aggression with his swarm cards here, but you're going to be able to take care of that. You have Zap in hand too. There's a Zap. So we're about to enter double elixir time. I know, of course, we're kind of in the middle of the match here, starting out this video. But how does how does your pacing change in double elixir time with this deck? On double elixir, you can always afford to do like a balloon minor push, okay. so you can always be more aggressive in double. Oh, <laughs> he drops the uh, drops the oops. That's a, that's some XE value right there. So you're gonna go in with a balloon here, or uh, maybe not yet. Okay, yeah, he does good have call. Back, <laughs> so yeah, he's gonna do all this. Oof. Relentless. Relentless. Let's just say, Mortar is not actually that good of a matchup with this deck, just because they have so much air. You just have to get all your cycle perfect. Yeah. And I, I actually noticed you first playing this match in a GC. So, how do you feel about it? it ladder versus challenges, or is it basically the, the same? I mean, Ladder, you just notice there's a lot more Tornado and all that, so... Yeah. Yeah. And E-Drag. Right. Don't forget the E-Drag. Yeah, the max E-Drag on top ladder. Uh, so here we go. Another Executioner reloaded as we go into Sudden Death Overtime. Fireball mm. comes down. He misses the Executioner, though. So yeah, that was interesting. Yeah, he's made a couple mistakes here. Hopefully giving you a little bit of an opening. Nice zap there. This could be it. No, oh, let's be too soon. Dude, it seems like Norby's deck is just always has a million cards <laughs> right in it, ready to... The damage on the balloon which is going to be huge. Yep. And I was oh. talking to you, actually. I heard you talking on your stream, rather. And oh. you mentioned that the death damage in this deck, like, you don't always have to necessarily be striking with the balloon onto the tower. Exactly. The death damage alone can, can chip out your opponents. So is that something that's, you know, probably a lot of people overlook when they play balloon decks. Like, you're feeling like you always have to get it to the tower. But this yeah, is, could be it right here, right? This is GG, 100%. The Valve's going to get a hit, and that's death damage. Boom. Yeah, definitely solid on the death damage. Well, I guess, yeah, okay, here we go. <laughs> Miner connects, Zapka's down. Wait, not just yet. Not just yet. <laughs> he does have Fireball. He needs a Mortar hit. Trying to make B-Rat eat his words. Oh, go same location he predicts it, but Doesn't this time he got the Zap I ready. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Good predictions there by Norby, but uh, uh, then maybe that missed fireball really hurt him there. And oh, yeah. maybe that rascal play too. But either way, it's GG, Brad. Let's see where you are right Ooh. now. And uh, you're currently 126 in the world with this deck. Incredible, I just, man. I just got the blue badge. I just saw the icon come up. Oh, oh it's beautiful. The motivation. Yeah, okay. So we're looking at the deck right now. You already talked about it. You love the cycle cards, Ice Spirit, Skeletons. You can be relentless with the pressure. Anything else about the deck that, that bears kind of mentioning before we go into the next match? Well, if you, if you look at the deck, just at the eight cards, you'll notice you don't have a big spell. So that you have to adjust how you play against like 3M or like different decks like that. But you have to like use your Valkyrie Executioner as your big spell since it has that splash effect. Yeah. 
like Valkyrie definitely. Do you feel like Valkyrie is is a good card in the meta right now? Uh, especially with the Ghost Nerf, I honestly think Valk should be used more. I don't know why she hasn't been touched in a lot of decks yet. Okay, that's a really interesting point, and I can't really argue with you. I love Royal Ghost, by the way, but Valkyrie is really strong. Uh, all right. Oh, you're already in a match, man. I like this. Keep the pace up. Yeah, wait comes a ladder could be. You know, that's five, true. 10 that's true. We haven't had to go, go, go. edit yet though, which is uh is rare here. So, all right, we'll go ahead. Oh, did you see that they're doing like a fantasy uh CRL thing? Yeah, I saw that. That should be a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. Are you a fantasy sports player yourself? Uh, actually, no. I've never done anything like that, so this okay. will be a first for me. Cool. Yeah, I'm excited about it. And you get free emotes, I guess, just by. This is not like a supercell ad, by the way, guys. But <laughs> you get free emotes just by trying. So enter now. Uh, okay, so going as Golem, this is going to be a good one. How do you feel against Golem as a matchup in general for this deck? I honestly, I've only faced Golem a handful of times. So okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll figure that out right now. <laughs> we will figure that out live. Hopefully taking down this baby dragon would be huge. Doesn't it get is. it. Need one more hit there, but power of the Valk. Power of the Valk. He's back to Xe, and now just a couple cycle cards, and he's back to NATO again if he needs it. it doesn't look like he will. Well, let's see. Or just NATO. Interesting. Yeah, very interesting. It doesn't really pay off for him for a lot of damage, but you know he gets a decent amount of damage there on that push. I assume the elixir is somewhat even. Do you keep track of like every? Are you one of those players who like keeps track of every elixir, or is it just kind of a feel that you have having it's played so a, much? Uh, just a rough, a rough feel. Exactly. Gotcha. See, I don't think he has e drags. I'm going in. I'm going okay. in. He's going in. Okay. Oh, there, there it is. Oh, it is. So this is just going to be very difficult here. V nice NATO though. You do make contact. You're going to get one hit. Oh my oh, god. I, I what we the got two heck? Hits. That's why I did it. Sometimes, oh. the balloon is like it feels like that second hit takes forever for it to drop. You know. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so now he goes in with the golem now that you don't have... Flex in. Oh, nice! Nice activation there. <laughs> and you go in with another balloon. Like you said, you love how fast this deck cycles. And this time it looks like he's just going to tower, tower trade. trade yeah. So he's happy just to tower trade here or try to. You have Executioner in hand. You have NATO. You'll have it back in hand. I'm not going to try to defend this. Okay, all right. Just light defense. So he doesn't freak out. Exactly. Okay, so talk a little bit about, I mean, it's pr probably a little bit obvious, but the decision-making behind just the light defense, you just knew you weren't going to be able to stop it. Yeah. Uh, he had, you know, 12 elixir down. <laughs> yeah. No way I could just defend the hit. And the even him, yeah. even here, I don't I don't know. I need a nice XC point spin here. Okay. There you go. Okay, so he's not going to freak around. Yeah, that's good. And then take care of that. All right, so this is tricky though. We're going to send death over time. He has like the way heavier deck. Mm -hmm. uh, so thought process at this moment right now. here. I'm gonna go with a balloon for the king tower. Yeah. Okay. So he's, what do you have? NATO baby dragon. His lumberjack. And you will make contact. You do have the miner down there too. You can zap. Oof. Hit the NATO, okay. You did get that hit there. And he used so much elixir there defending, which is you know. The beauty yep. of how you play a, a golem deck with any cycle deck, yeah. Oh! Oh man, I like the relentless balloons. Now you can NATO that. <laughs> Do you risk it though? It's gonna... Oh no. Oh Just man. Gonna... I, I needed the hit. Oh no. <laughs> so so close. close there. So close. Oh, Maybe man. I yeah, I could have nated it away, but I don't think it's uh, all good. <laughs> it yeah, it would have been, that would have been really, really close. But anyway, all right, let's go yeah, into the match number three. Match number three. Yeah, looking back there, what what do you think, other than maybe NATO, like a Hail Mary NATO at the end on offense, what do you think you could have done differently, perhaps? I, I just could never, like, you can't defend his goal and push. You always have to balloon an opposite lane because... He will always nade ex your executioner into the golem. Then that lumberjack will whack it, whack it down. You it's just, you have yeah. to just apply offset lane pressure. That's what yeah. I did. I think I played it as best as I could. Almost. Yeah. All right. Here we go. All right. So against Kosame Zero. Do you know what this guy plays? I have no idea. Why do you know? No, I don't. Oh, <laughs> I'm just wondering. Me out. Come on, man. Sorry, dude. I do my research. I need to get back yeah. on the line. He, he can tell you like the history of every ladder player and what they played in every second of every match. Sorry. Pretty crazy. Uh, so here we go. It looks like he's playing, you know, Giant. mortar or something. Who knows? 
Look who giant threw him. That's true too. There it is. Yep, you called it. It's a giant 3M, a deck that everybody loves to hate. And you don't have fire. He has ball. literally no air, so I'm just gonna go in. He has yeah, three he's, yeah, he uses Oh, bat. never mind. Ooh. Oh, how close is that? Ooh. I'm getting those rascals. Do you get the death oh, damage, though? Take care of those girl rascals as well. Boy will be down by the executioner, so. Interesting. Who knows what he's playing now? It's good. Yeah. Mortar, right? I don't know. It has to be Mortar. Right? Yeah. Weird. All right. Hey, did you see the uh, the fantasy uh, the fantasy sports thing that they're doing with CRL? Yeah, I did. That's definitely gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah, that's pretty good. Who's your first pick gonna be? <laughs> oh, first pick. It has to be Royal. From it has Mortal. to be Royal. <laughs> He's a yeah. beast. Oh my god. Yeah, for sure. I, I, yeah, I'm gonna set my lineup too. Make sure you guys do too. This is not like a supercell ad, by the way, but you guys can uh, <laughs> you guys can set your lineups and you get like free emotes just for. It doesn't matter if you win or lose or whatever. So just make sure you set something, guys. Don't miss up on those emotes. All right, so here we go. Uh, so I, I guess it's just, mortar. I still yeah, it's got to be a minor mortar deck, but it's weird that he's not using mortar at all in the first two yeah. minutes. Oh my god, my dog's going crazy and playing with my webcam. Hope you guys enjoyed my trash can in the back. Chillin'. Oh, the skellies. Oh, we have to log them. Okay. So here, I'm just gonna execute. There it is. Actually, the yeah, that's fine. All right. Yeah. I have tornado and zap in case he goes like a weird minion horn push. Mm -hmm. Goes in with Miner there, which is fine. <laughs> and there's the NATO and Zap both used. Activate King Tower. Things are looking good here as we go into double extra time. He's got Fireball. I just gotta watch out. I don't, you know, put things yeah. too close together. It's tricky too because, like, although you're you're looking pretty good so far, Fireball, Minion Horde, Rascals, it's gonna be hard to <laughs> and Mortar. How do you get through? You know. Uh, this is usually with just a balloon death damage kind of game. Balloon death damage plus minor chip. Minor chip. Yeah. yeah. And you're getting a lot of it right now, which is really. Did he miss the balloon with a fireball? He did. I'm gonna zap. Oof. Hopefully, I get the hit. Oh, pre zap. Oh! No. Oh. Oh, I'm going in again. Oh, nice. I can't stop. And this is the this is cycle. the cycle power of the deck. What does he have? He has minion horde. Uh, he doesn't have enough elixir. Okay. My force him to defend, which is fine. Yeah. Exactly. So he's not, he's dropping only defensive mortar so far. He's not even going in with this minor because of the pressure and the cycle, cycleability of Brad's deck here. So there's a zap. We'll uh, yep. finish that off. Boom. And you can see already like the tempo and the pressure that, that Brad is applying in this matchup here. It seems like Executioner is just your go-to and you fo or force a fireball out of him and a log. I'm gonna wait for a perfect time zap here and boom. Nice. Uh, so now though. this guy's yeah, it's really trying to to up the pressure, but luckily you have like a lot of answers to his stuff too. Oh he caught it. Oh not really. Nice, nope. Nice. Zap's just just to get a little more chip damage. Nice. Perfect. So down, down to 419. And it oh, feel that's not gonna work. Make sure he doesn't try to predict my ice spirit. Nice. And that's good. Wow, that's very, it. very well played there, man. Yes. You, made look, you made it look really easy, but you can see like the relentless cycle of this uh, of this matchup. But come here, Sheldon. Come here. Oh, I'm pulling my thing. All right, we'll go back. We'll come back uh, to you guys uh, in the next match. <laughs> All right, here we oh. go against Destroy. No, Detroit. Oh, my, my, my apologies. My apologies, <laughs> <No> Detroit. <laughs> no S. All right. So it seems like Ice Spirit starting play is, is your go-to. <laughs> just uh, just a nice 100 damage, 100 damage start, you know? Sure, sure. I always love it. I mean, you are the minor god after all. So, like, what? how do you feel about minor placements in general? Like, obviously, you went to the safe spot. And I, I've actually heard a lot of people say that they start, they go like inside sometimes uh, corner as well for their first minor. Like, how do you feel about that? It's risky, obviously, if they have. Nato. Well, actually, with balloon, you can go. Oh, uh, well, you can actually go really aggressive. Okay. Uh, with your minor placements, because if they nato your minor, that means they don't nato for your balloon. That is true. Okay, good call. Ooh, I thought you might get two hits on that uh, balloon, but you do get one. Nice start to this match. It is. And he has almost relatively no damage, so this is good. Yeah, he must and he be used yeah. Lava Loon or Mega Knight. Okay. Ooh, the Mega Knight. Mega Knight Miner. Interesting. I haven't seen that in a while. I know, right? 
I wonder what his last card is. I wonder if it's like Skelly Barrel or something. Mm. I think it, it probably is because he has the bats and the Inferno Dragon, you know? But we'll see. I wanted that to walk, but it's fine. Power of the Valk right here. Shit, I don't think you'll get take any damage from that Mega Knight. You don't. Nice. And I was wrong as usual. His poison is the last card. <laughs> <laughs> so his air cards look like he only has E Wiz and Inferno Dragon. He might have always oh, bats. Bats. Yep. Okay, that's good. So are you? Is, so at this point, you're going into double elixir time. Are you? You have a activate King Tower. You have a damage advantage. So are you, you're kind of slow playing this and just waiting for your opportunity? Yeah. I'm actually going to go with a balloon here since the Mega Knight doesn't reach it and the XD should clean up pretty much everything. Okay. Get the death damage there. Some Valkyrie value. Nice minor on his part there, but you had another XD ready for him. Oh, wow. Wow. Boom. Wow, that was a <laughs> that was the power of the executioner right there. Gotta line those shots up. <laughs> that was nice. I can't go, in... go ahead. I can't go in with a miner right now just because he would uh, snipe it with a um, mega knight. Then that would be just a massive counterattack. Yep. So he's coming in hot that? here. In hot. But it's totally cool again, just relying on. Mm. Wish that didn't happen, but I'm fine. Yep. Do you, now, so obviously blue. placement is so crucial for for executioner in terms of where you're dropping him and you guys saw it on those last two sequences any kind of tips uh, uh, to get better at that or it's just again just playing more just playing more yeah you just kind of like you know executioner always shoots in a straight line and that's gg oh, there it is and yeah well done man and he's he thinks it's pretty funny maybe he's he laughing does. at me mispronouncing his name he's like it's detroit you idiot ass Wait. <laughs> Dude, uh, thanks again for coming on, man. Any any final thoughts? I think that I kind of interrupted you when you were saying something at the end there. Oh, yeah. For execution and lining up those shots, you just have to, like, uh, picture, like, how some units pull towards execution depending on where you play, and some units will not see it. So you have to just, like, judge by that. Yeah, good call. Any final thoughts in the deck? Any final tips for people out there? Final tips, uh, like this deck, it's just a fast cycling -like deck, so it actually really helps your mechanics to build up those basic foundations for like other decks, like 2.6, Hog, 3.0 Miner that I'm rocking a ladder on every stream right now. So mm -hmm. yeah. Awesome, man. Well, thanks again for coming on the channel. Always a pleasure. Uh, B-Rad, anything that we can keep an eye out for on the channel? <sighs> actually, my video on tomorrow. Wait, when is this video coming out? This video will come out tomorrow our time. So are your video oh, so today? So if you are watching this tomorrow, I'm actually going to do a challenge for uh, my Miner Mondays. I have 12 different types of Miner decks, and for each win of the GC, I will switch and see if I can get a 12 win. Whoa, that is a really cool idea. Okay, so 12 Miner decks, every yeah. <laughs> GC match you'll switch. Awesome. I'm not going to miss that one. So it's going to be like a 45-minute video, right? Probably, yeah. Awesome, dude. Well, definitely looking forward to that, and uh, thanks again for coming on, man. All right, thank you again. Have All right, guys, on. that is going to do it. Always enjoy having B Rad on the channel. Check out his player stats and profile, his YouTube channel, and his uh, Twitter information all in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Huge shout out to Bren Chong, my YouTube partner. Check out his information as well. Thank you, and as always, take care, guys.